All right, so I'm going to share you guys um, on how to create a puzzle by using um, a Microsoft PowerPoint, and you just you might you might want to try this. This is uh, way easier. So first of all, all you have, all you need to have is um, a transparent puzzle. So I already have it right here. So a complete pieces of a transparent puzzle. And then, um, of course, a PowerPoint. So first is we have to um, format the background of the slide. Um, the good thing about this um, is you can create any picture that you like using um, this step of creating a puzzle. So format the background. So right click or click the actual slide and then select format background. And you can see the options right here. Select picture or texture to fill. And then picture source, insert, um, of course, picture that you want. You can either select it from your file, OneDrive, or online. So let's say online. And then I'd select birds. Let's select, OK, this parrot. Okay, there you have it. We already have the background picture of a parrot, but this is not, um, there's way more work to do. Um, it will not save automatically, the picture will not automatically um, stick to the puzzle that we have, to the transparent puzzle that we have. As you can see, if you will move the puzzle, it will still be transparent. So all you have to do in order for you to save uh, the puzzle at the same time, the background is save every pieces of the puzzle in your drive. So you have to really save it one by one. You cannot save it all at once because it will not become a puzzle. It will uh, be saved as a whole picture of a parrot with a draw, with some puzzle drawn, um, you know, like a puzzle, but it's not really a puzzle. So save it uh, on your drive and then if it's already saved that is the time that you can um, transfer the puzzle into the class in so i have already created um, a lot of puzzles and these puzzles has been have been saved in my drive already so uh, i created this um, parrot already so this one so as you can see it's all done uh, so it is now ready to paste into the classroom. But this is way too big, okay? So it's really big that it will consume the whole classroom and it, it's not good, it doesn't look nice. But you can of course adjust, adjust it to make it smaller, but it's way, well, it's a lot of work. So I'm going to share you another technique on how to adjust it to become smaller all at once. So you have a, an empty slide here. So copy everything. No, no, no. Copy this one, copy, and then paste it to the empty slide that you have. So uh, what I do is I have the original picture here so that the student will have a basis when they're solving the puzzle. So I have to delete this one first. And highlight everything, then adjust all pieces of puzzle at once so they're all of them are now smaller and they have the same size so it will not be so hard for you to adjust um well this is way more better than adjusting them one by one so copy everything into the classroom there then you have to really copy it one by one because if you have to do it at once like this one it will look like this so and that's not a good uh, thing. So you have to really copy and paste them one by one into the class in. So once it's all done, let's, uh, let's say it's all done, you can now save it to, to the classroom. So um, just simply Control S and then save to cloud disk. You can rename your puzzle. Let's say this one is Parrot. 
and then click confirm and then once confirmed it will be saved automatically to your cloud disk here my cloud disk in there i already saved the part by the way so let me show you how it looked like how it looks like when it's done so there i have the parrot mm, yes so there's the original picture and then well the student can now play the puzzle i have tried this one to a lot of my students and they really enjoyed the puzzle and i'm so glad that they enjoyed and i hope you guys will also enjoy and will this might help you as well and i would love to share some of um, the games that i have discovered so i'm going to upload them soon happy teaching bye